here's what we're going to do for the next little bit. Make sure you have adequate workspace. We've done that. We're going to assemble this together. Please don't get ahead of the instructor and don't open anything until we ask you to. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Now, when you open it up, you should see something that looks very much like this. So we've got some little stickers that we'll need. We've got some other things here. So kind of take the sticker bag and kind of set it aside. And now pull that top layer of cardboard off, and you should see something that looks like this. Don't lose that little uh, baggie of stuff. You're, there's some things in there that we're going to need. OK, so now we're looking at this like this. So now we're looking at the bottom layer. OK, there's probably a little piece of plastic that's covering it to protect it. That's garbage. We've got these two long half tubes. OK, so take those two half tubes out. Easier said than done. Some people like to keep the bottom piece. Other people don't. It's up to you whether you want to keep the bottom piece for when you put these back into their, uh, their box. This big round thing that looks like this, inside this round thing that looks like this, there's a foam package that looks like that. Just pull it out, set it aside, but don't open it yet. OK, so you've got these two things out. So now what we're going to do, here's step one. Step one. So you got these two things out here. Put one of you, one of those in front of you on the work surface. Make sure the inside's up. Have one. You know. um, <coughs> so you notice that. Uh, so you notice that on the bottom of these, there's this thing that looks like this. So have that kind of towards you. Okay. Now, in the uh, package that looks like this, please open that now. And inside there, you will find a kind of a heavy little piece of glass. Right, it does have a logo. It's, it's imprinted. It, it's, uh, it's not painted. Okay, so you're looking for this uh, big fat lens in here. So only handle it on the edges or with the uh, tissue paper. So, it, so in the main tube down here, you notice um, near the big end, the bigger end, that there's a groove down here. This is going to go in this groove. Now you notice if you look at the lens from the edge, it's two pieces of glass that are actually cemented together. One of them looks thinner than the other. The thin section should be out towards the end. Thin towards the end. So this is what it means, thin section of lens faces this way. So here on this picture, this is the thinner, this is the thicker, yeah, keep the, keep the tissue paper. It will come in handy later. Okay, make sure it's set in there pretty well so it's not crooked. So, yeah, and so that's a little bit crooked, and so kind of, uh, you know, get it so it's set in there on the notch. Pretty good. Okay, step two. Now, inside the little uh, baggie that has the uh, stickers, the one that we set aside at the very beginning, the one that looks like this, inside there, there is a nut. Please find that nut. Without losing the other stuff that's in there. There's some little uh, O-rings, which uh, um, if they fall on the floor, they're dark. The floor is dark. We might lose them. So the little nut. And so the little nut, you notice you got this notchy thing down here that is towards you. Put this in there so that one of this, these lines is poking is straight up. And so put this nut, there's a place that it'll fit perfectly in there. And so make sure that it goes in that spot. Now, step three. So now you got, now in here, inside the next layer, you've got two things down here that are on, on this, they're labeled E. They've got, the, in, inside there, they've got some plastic stuff. And so pull those out. Okay, set those in front of you. Notice that there's two ends to them. One end's kind of got these U-shaped things down here. Okay, you might find those U-shaped things. There's also some texturing on the inside. And so you want to make sure that those textures are going to match up. And so here, this is all textured. This all not because those are going to seat together. So now you can take this. And so down here, up here, there's 
a little one here called F. So find that one. And then in that little package, there are four O-rings. Find the two little ones. Find the two little O-rings. <laughs> yep, that one. And then the, you said two small O-rings. Two small O-rings. So once you found those, and so take the two halves, put them together so that the, uh, all the texture goes together and it fits together nicely. Put those together. Now that big round plastic, so you're going to want to slide that over it. So you've got the one end with the U's, with the little U's. And so if you put the U in down here, put this on, you notice that this little plastic thing, that it's got a lip on one side and it's nice. So if you're holding it up with the, with the U's up, and so put this so that this lippy thing is also up, and then slide it down. Okay. Take the O-rings, wrap them around. There's a groove at each end to hold those together. <laughs> now you've got that main tube that we had, and so on the opposite end from where you put that big piece of glass, set that in, the half of it, it it's kind of hard to see. So you notice on the inside of these tubes, that in here there's kind of a little uh, baffle thing or a little ridge right here. So the one end with you know, the, the U-shaped end is going to go down here. The other end, make sure that the O-ring on the other end is on this side of this baffle thing. Okay. So set it, set it in there. Yeah, just to where it's inside the panel. Yeah, right like that. Okay, you got it? So you can adjust your focal length. Okay, so we got that. So now, take the other half of this, set it on. So now we, we put that together. So now what we could do, just, uh, you know, you got the sun warning sticker, you could do that. Make sure that you do not cover up the seam between the two of these. The beautiful thing about the Galileo scope is that you can take it back apart at will and put it back together at will so that they could look at it and say, oh yeah, we got the lens down here, we got the eyepiece down here. Look at that, it's a straight line going through here. And somewhere in the middle here would be where our image is if we, were happen if we happened to introduce a screen to that. And you could conceivably do that if you really wanted to. And so this is the beautiful thing about the Galileo scope is that it comes back apart. Okay, the one end that with the focuser tube, if it's seating together, you can slide that to hold the two halves of the big tube together. And then there's this big thing here that goes on the other end, like that, like this down here. Put that on there, and now it will hopefully hold together. Now here's an option. Not everyone does this. If you don't think you'll take it apart, you can take the two big O-rings, and you might notice it on the outside that there's two grooves in the barrel. If you really wanted to, you could put those there to help hold the thing together, or not. It's, an, it's up to you. Okay, now, what, for this first side piece, we're gonna be using the four bigger ones. Don't take them out yet, just be aware that those are the four that we're gonna be looking at here. Now. Here comes the really quirky part. You know, use the tissue paper. So we've got these, and so these are going to pair. Remember, she used these as pairs earlier, and it improved the image. In this eyepiece, there's going to be two pairs where they're going to be sandwiched together to improve the image, just like she discovered already, that sometimes two pieces of glass sandwiched together improves the image. So you make this like that, and this is where it's really hard for these little pieces of glass because you look at it and say, I can't tell by looking, and so you've got to use your fingers with the tissue paper to tell. So you're going to make two pairs. So the red ones are identical, the blue ones are identical, and they're going to make this little pair. You might notice that this one is a both sides convex or a double convex. The other one is one side concave and the other side is flat. 
in the plastic thing here, there's these big grooves out here at the end. This is the configuration that they're going to be in, like this. And so they're going to fit. It is tricky to get them into there together. It is not easy. I will tell you that now. So put these in here. They're going to fit in like here. In the future, that will be so hopefully flat away and flat away the curved surfaces face each other and so we've kind of been walking around <coughs> doing that and so now down here take the second half and mesh it with it if it doesn't fit fairly tightly together then probably the two lenses aren't um, quite together then there are a couple of other things that are in here. There's the large clamp ring, there are ones here, and then there's this small clamp ring, they're here, and then we're here. So this one's got kind of this curvy thing here, like this. So that's this kind of fatter one, and so kind of stick this. This is where these flangey thing is, and so kind of put this where that flangey thing is. Doing good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're just going to use one of those. And then one of these on the back side. Yes, correct. So here's where it goes. And so if you take your Galileo scope, this is going to be the test to make sure that everything is working the way it's supposed to. Try putting it into the end down there. And now the uh, focus tube should be able to move in and out. Go ahead and make sure that that clampy thing is clamped. And then look at the most distant thing in the room and then try moving. And it could be that we'll, uh, that this won't work. It could be that we'll have to go out in the uh, entryway. Now, if for some reason it's not functioning, that means that uh, you probably either, it's possible that the big lens at the end is reversed. The more likely thing is that the lenses inside the eyepiece aren't in there the correct way. Or there's a little tiny piece of tissue paper that got stuck in between them. So this eyepiece with this configuration gives about 25 power. It's about a 25 power eyepiece, which, you know, you can see quite a bit. This is actually pretty good for the moon. And the way that they configured this is, and you could examine this and, and look at how bright things are, look at the field of view, look at the magnification with it. We're going to be making another eyepiece, which is more similar, which will give us a more similar view than what Galileo had through his telescope. And so the next one that we're going to, we're going to build is more similar to that. And you could make a comparison between the two. Got two other little eyepieces. They're going to fit together. One of them is a double concave. In other words, it's curved inward on both sides. The other one is curved out, it's convex on one side, and it's flat on the other side. So how they're going to go is you pull out those other two halves that are in there, and there's one spot for them. Now if you had a hard, hard time with the two before that were bigger with getting them seated in there, now you've got two little pieces, two smaller pieces of plastic, smaller lenses in there. So these are going to seat together just like uh, we discovered earlier that it um, makes a clearer image when you do that. So they go here. Now the flat face, and so here you've kind of got this fat end and the skinnier end. So the fat end or the flat end goes down here and then the curved one goes down here. Uh, this is where feeling them is a very good thing to do. Up towards, the towards, thick yeah. towards the front. Yeah. Thin on the edge. Thin on the edge. Not. Yeah. Okay.
It looks like most people are getting this. Okay, perfect, you did it. Yay! Congratulations, you now have a fully functional Galileo scope, ready to use as a teaching tool in a variety of educational settings.